Do you know who is living beside you? The lawn is a little bit super tall actually. Uh, actually they passed away. I'm gonna kill in everything. Okay, yeah, yeah. that sounds good. Cool. Okay, thanks so much. Thank Have a good day. Hi friends, it's Sarah, the voiceover from Mowing Guardian team. Today, I came across a house that was hidden beneath a jungle of wild plants and tall weeds. It was as if nature had taken over this house, and I couldn't help and wonder what was inside. Then, one afternoon when I was working nearby, I saw an ambulance rush out of the driveway, its sirens blaring. I felt a bit worry and decided to find out what had happened. I approached a person from the ambulance team and asked, Can you please tell me what happened here? Their face looked sad, and they shared, the person who lived in this house has passed away. It's a really tough time for their family. I felt a deep sadness in my heart, knowing that the person who lived here had a daughter. She had just found out about her father's passing and was crying when I knocked on the door. Keep watching because the rest of this story is coming up around the end of the video with some amazing before and after pictures.
seeing Emma so upset about her father broke my heart. I noticed that not only was the house neglected, but the inside the house was also a mess. It needed a lot of care. So, I asked Emma if she'd like some free help with the garden. She looked at the wild garden and said, I don't even know where to start. Without thinking twice, I offered, I can help you mow the lawn for free. It's the least I can do during this tough time. Emma's eyes filled with gratitude, and she said, Thank you, that would mean so much to me. In the days that followed, I brought my lawnmower and other gardening tools to fix up the garden. The neighbors saw what I was doing and shared that Emma's dad had been very sick before he passed away. They talked about how kind he was and how he used to take good care of the garden. Meanwhile, I was working, she shared cherished memories of her dad as we worked. And slowly, by help of my mower and trimmer, the garden started to look beautiful again. It became a place of comfort for Emma, and I felt glad I could help her in some small way during this sad time. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you found this story touching. Stay tuned to see some amazing before and after pictures of the garden, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's an awesome way to show your support for the free work I do. Thanks.